Hey guys, it's Charlotte here from charlotteohara.ca and in today's video tutorial I'm going to show you how to add and customize a button in Squarespace. So this works whether you're adding a button to a web page or a blog post, either way the process is the same. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's minimize this video recording of my face and I'll show you how to work it. All right. So I have, what I have set up here is, this is a demo website that I have built on Squarespace. It's just one of the freebie trials and I'm using the Aviator template. So if you wanna do something similar, you can. And in this case, I've created a fake website for financial advisors. So when you log into your, you know, your website here, you'll, let's say you want to add a new page to your site like I have here. And now it's time to go in and actually customize the content. So with this, um, you can see I've got just some like placeholder text here and some example buttons. So these are buttons that are on a web page of my site. So I'm going to show you how to do that because it's pretty easy. So once you've got your page or your blog post selected, you would click edit. And then you just use these little like insert buttons to add a new content block. So when you click that, you'll see the button section is right here, just at the top under basics. So you'll select your button. And now, as you can see, I've got a new button here, and this is where it gets time to kind of make the button look the way we want it to. So first off, I can rename the text in the button. So let's say I want to say like learn more or like view services, let's say. And then below that, I can add a click-through URL. So this is great because I can either add like an external URL to my site and select it to open in a new window if I'd like, or I can add um, a link to existing content that's already on my website. So from here, I would just go through, select wherever I want it to go to, and then hit apply. And as well here, you can see I've got a couple different examples of Squarespace button size. So I've got a small button, I've got a medium button, and a large button here. So I would just select whichever size button I'm interested in adding. And then also I would click the alignment. So I can choose to align it left, center, or right. So these are all set to center by default, but if I wanted to add it to the left, I can do that. Or if I want to add it to the right, I can do that too. But I'm just going to leave it at center for now. All right, and then once that's done, I just click insert and it's done and then save. So that is how you add a button to your website on Squarespace, whether this is on a web page or in a blog post. Either way, it's the same process, just insert the content block and then style the button the way you'd like it to. But now if we want to go in and switch up like the coloring or the actual font part of the button, I'm gonna show you how to do that too. So over on the left-hand side of your dashboard, you're gonna click over to where it says design, and then style editor. And then you're gonna scroll down here to where the different buttons are, button blocks. So reminder, I'm using the Aviator template right now, so depending on which template you're on, it might look a little bit different. But from here, you can select what type of button style you want, whether it's solid, outlined, or raised, or if you want it a square one, rounded, a pill, anything like that. And then this is where you can also add a different button color. So let's say instead of a black one, I want it to be uh, kind of this yellowish color. You can see that when I did that, it changed the color of the small button over here. Um, text color too, I've got this set to white, but you know, if you're using a different one, you can adjust the color there as well. And then font too, you can select right now, Lato or Lato is the font that I'm using on this demo website, but you can switch it over, you know, to, I don't know, Katrina Webb, sure. <laughs> and, you know, change out all of the different font stylings here as well. And then you can do the same thing for small, medium, or large blocks, but either way, it's the same process. And then that way you'll make sure that any buttons on your website look the same way you want. So when you're done that, just click save. And there you go. That's how easy it is. All right, so now you saw how simple it is to add a button to your Squarespace website, and then from there, how to style it, change the color, the font, spacing, 
how to add a link, everything like that. So I hope you find this really useful. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up or leave me a comment down below. And you can also check out my website, which is charlotteohara.ca. And I've got tons more blog posts and tutorials all about web design and development and Squarespace and general tech tips there on my website as well as on my YouTube channel. So thanks again for watching. See you soon. Bye.